Paul Gates and the Midnight Madness Programmer, and um, this film screened the other night, played really well. Um, this is going to be a very different screening because uh, that audience saw it at night and had to go home in the dark. Uh, you guys have the buffer of sunshine afterwards, so that'll hopefully uh, give you a little bit more uh, moral courage. Um, when I see films from Midnight Madness, I see a lot of bad horror films. A lot of really tired <laughs> cliches. Um, hey, there's a slasher. Oh, it's killing girls. Uh, just girls. It's kind of tired. Let's, let's, let's move on. Oh, there's a found footage film. There's a zombie film. Um, every once in a while you see something which kind of makes you go, oh yeah, that's why we like this genre. Because you can do interesting things within it. You can say uh, neat, you can play with neat ideas within the conventions of genre. And this definitely does that. Uh, it Follows is creepy. It's going to get under your skin, skin, but there's a really element of style and fresh ideas with it. And I want to introduce you to the director of It Follows, David Robert Mitchell. Disturbing, um, and that is something that I hope works on multiple levels. So um, I, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'll talk. I'll be here after to uh, do a Q and A. So enjoy the movie. And of course, this film is eligible for the Grolsch People's Choice Award, and more importantly, the Grolsch People's Choice Midnight Madness Award. You can vote for as many films as you like. There are two ways to vote: simply drop your ticket stub in the ballot boxes outside the cinema, or enter your ticket number at tiff.net/vote. We would like to thank Mongrel Media, Radius TWC, and Visit Films for providing us with this film. And uh, I just want to get a show of hands. Um, are there any dates in this audience? <coughs> any, date, any dates? Okay. No. You, uh, you might get lucky or you just might get haunted. Enjoy. It follows. <laughs>